Hello, I'm some random guy off the internet, and I'm going to be teaching you some new and interesting ways to go to jail. Today, we'll be talking about the Flipper Zero. It's a multi tool for pen testers, and we're going to be using it to extract the credit card data from this locked cell phone. And we're going to be exploiting the NFC protocol or tap to pay, and then later discussing you know what to do with that information, how to enumerate the CVV numbers and some other information and what to do with that once we have it all. And it's all going to start right now. Hey, so thanks for joining us for part one of part two, where I'll be showing you a couple different ways of going about this. Again, we're, we're going to be stealing the, the credit card information from a locked cell phone. Of course, you would never do this to somebody else's cell phone that you didn't have permission to, or um, especially to a stranger's. Um, and I'm showing this uh, purely for educational purposes, and that if you were to ever need a copy of your card, or maybe if you lost your card and had a... Uh, the information already, you know, written down somewhere, you would be able to know what to do with that information and how to then essentially duplicate your car and still be able to make purchases and get around until at least you got a new one in the mail. So without any further ado, let's just jump into this. Uh, and then we'll, we'll uh, discuss uh, further on what to do with this information. So um, I'm going to try and try my hardest here to do this live and to do this from two different angles. So we can see both sides in real time, what's going on here. So First off, I'm just going to show you, and then I'm going to go back and explain a little bit, and then we'll go back, and then I'll show you another way of going about it. So, all right. So first off, I'd like to say that this cell phone here, okay, uh, there's nothing running on it, okay? In fact, so we're, we can do this undisturbed. There's no um, Wi-Fi. There's no, um, there's no uh, mobile data, Bluetooth, uh, other than the NFC protocol that's running on it. It's practically air gapped so again though no, there's no apps or anything and we're gonna go ahead and we'll lock this um now to our flipper so with our flipper hopefully and uh we can see this i'm gonna get this going here and uh we're just gonna just get straight to this here so again um no uh no apps running uh, we're gonna go ahead so i don't have my wallet up or anything we're gonna go ahead and lock this however i would like for you to see while i'm doing this that here is the the pin code or the the pin pad here and i'm just going to go ahead and we've already done it so if you can see here i'm going to keep my thumb here a little bit and try to get that to where you can see a little bit of what that says it's probably about as good as good as it's going to get but you can see that up there at the top if you can't see it um it says debit so it tells the type of card and then right below that it'll be showing you the credit card number the expiration date the currency that the card prefers i assume and then uh the country of origin from the card okay so also uh real quick if you hit the right button we're going over to more right and you go down to info it will give you some more information and this is just the the type of card um, that it is the identifier the identifiers for that card and i'll explain later here in a minute why we're going to need that but real quick i want you to see now this seems like it unlocked my phone but it actually didn't um if we get rid of that you can see that my phone actually still is in fact locked so it still it it still accesses the what we need from the card um or i'm sorry from the phone but without actually unlocking it it's pretty smooth it's pretty smooth so 
what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to do this again. I'd like to show you something. And again, there's nothing loaded on my phone. We're going to go ahead and lock it. And then we're going to unlock it. And I'd like for you to see this. So when that happens, we get this error. And the error is kind of blurry. But the error is basically just saying that, hey, something went wrong. Uh, the phone moved. Uh, the card reader moved. Something went wrong. And that didn't work. But obviously, it actually did work because here it is again. So um, something to do with it. Uh, we'll go on to go on a little bit more about that in the uh, part two. OK, uh, so another method now to show let me show you exactly how this was done. OK, now we just use the normal NFC app that comes with the just the basic um, custom firmware, but still just the uh, basic stock that there, there's nothing special going on here. Now, what I did in this particular case, and I will sh and I'll show you exactly uh, how to do that when you don't know what the card type is. But so we go to the NFC, we went to uh, extra, the um, the extra functions. So from extra functions, then we just went down to, or up the very first option, the uh, select specific card type. And then we went down to the EMV card. I can't see on that thing, but the EMV card. Okay. And because we already knew what the card type was. Now, remember after we got the card, we can go to info and it gave us the card type, the card identification numbers and stuff like that, which is what we are normally going to need before this reader will understand what it's trying to grab. So if you were to go back and just select the very first option, read under the NFC app. Okay. I'm not going to lock it this time. I'm just going to show you that you'll need, I'm going to keep my finger here a couple different identifiers okay so there's the first one we'll hit retry there's the next we'll hit retry and we'll hit it again and again it's not getting it ah now we just made it right so now now we got there we got there this time and it had to get those identifiers first uh, sometimes it takes a few times sometimes it gets it right off the bat but we had to get those first before he would know. And I would like to, by the part two, write my own Flipper app that would actually do this for you. So instead of you having to, to essentially grind up against somebody's leg or something to be able to keep moving back and forth, to be able to, to get her to keep hitting the retry, uh, I would like to be able to get it to where it would just power down. Or not power down, but rather, you know, let's stop listening and, and, and go back and go back and, and be able to initiate the, the, the card to be able to get the separate uh, identifying uh, numbers that it's going to need to be able to perform then the attack. Um, though, if you do know what type of card, you know, more power to you and it'll be a lot more easy. So in the second video, we're going to be discussing now the different vulnerabilities and the different card types. So different card types have different ways of going about and getting the CVV numbers. Okay, and it's not very difficult. We're essentially we're going to take the, we're going to take sixteen digits, four digits. We're going to add some zeros to it. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to use one side to decrypt the other side, and then use that to re-encrypt what we get out of that to re-encrypt the original side that we decrypted and it's going to give us a numeric output where it's the first three digits is going to be our cvv numbers um, also we're going to be discussing different things like let's say google pay you know and how that we can get the proxy cards from google pay or apple pay from you know services like paypal where you don't even need a cvv number and uh what to do with that kind of stuff what to do with it where to put it how to use it because this isn't gonna this isn't gonna be work with an actual you cannot a new a, uh, you actually can't uh use this to actually make payments unless it's through a proxy card that's not using a cvv number unless somebody uh, myself or somebody else designs something that holds that kind of information but right now you know uh doing good enough just to get it in the first place, uh, especially for something like this, especially for something that's locked. So, you know, um, this is a, a newer, you know, this is uh, the newest um, Android OS and it's fully patched. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, will this work on a iPhone? I've heard pray tell that the authentication methods and stuff between uh, Apple Pay and uh, 
PayPal are is exactly the same. So there's really no reason to think that at least off an unlocked one that you wouldn't be able to, um, and maybe even a locked one. But somebody uh, with a iPhone, uh, hey, check that out for me and, and put it down in the comments. So part two, when's that going to happen? Uh, I'm going to try to get it out before two weeks. I, I would like to see that before two weeks. I'd like to get everything done and packaged right and be able to explain it, you know, properly. And what I will do is I will go ahead and when I do figure this out, I'm going to put it down in the description. But go ahead and, you know, like this video if you do. But regardless, go ahead and, and subscribe because I'm going to do it live. I mean, it's going to be a live stream and it's only going to be available to people that have subscribed. So, you know, it's just my way of uh, thanking them, you know, thanking the people that, that have taken the time to, to subscribe. And uh, go ahead and, and while you're at it, if you're doing all this, might as well go the extra mile and hit the notification bell. And that way, if you miss or forget about, you know, the upcoming live stream, uh, it'll alert you and it'll let you know. And not only just that one, but all the future ones, like, because I plan on uh, keeping this up and, and really giving this a shot. So, you know, this is one of my first videos. And, you know, I just came across this and I thought that was pretty cool. And so hopefully I, I got even more methods by the time, you know, the, the second comes around. But uh, the second uh, part, but hopefully with the uh, the second part, um, you know, I got I got all my ducks in a row, and I've written that app, and we got something uh, really nice, something for me to give you guys too, you know, s something that uh, other people won't have on their flipper that you'll have, and uh, I think it's a pretty cool attack. I, I love the idea of the lock cell phone. I I love that, and uh, I'd like to try to add some range to it, you know. Um, a little maybe a low noise amplifier, you know, like a, not this, but something a little, you know, something like get it some distance between us, you know, and maybe not something big like the Hack RF, you know, but I mean, I love the form factor of the flipper. I, I really do. So um, thanks for sticking around. Uh, definitely make it for part two. I, I think that's going to be a lot of the meat of it. I just really like to show off this, uh, give a demo of, of how just uh, functional this attack can be. And, uh, and I will see you next time. So thanks again.